how to add multiple songs into one Ableton Live master set in Ableton Live arrangement and having locator notes being copied as well. Hi, I'm Toby from Ableton Drama and I want to show you one way, one way on how you can add, create a whole master set for Ableton Live for your gig, um, for example, and have all the stamps and all the different notes, all the different locator notes being copied here as well. So um, this solution is one solution, you know, so there are always a, a couple of solutions for um, solving stuff in Ableton Live. So this is one solution and this um, would you would need to buy my Max for Live devices for that. Check them out below. You would need Max for Live, which is included in Ableton Live Suite. Okay, so let's have a look on the example here. So we have um, an example song where we have the intro, verse, chorus all marked out as locators here. So um, we could now create a guide clip because locators won't be copied from one Ableton Live set to another. So what you can do here is you could create a new clip, uh, insert a MIDI track a new track, not a new clip. So let's call this guide clip and maybe um, let's put in the song name as well so we know if when we have this all in the master set later on what guide track for which song is happening here. So what you could do now is you could create MIDI clips. It's Command Shift T or right click um, create MIDI clip or is it insert empty MIDI clips. Yeah, and then put in the names of the locators here, but that will take a little time. So here is the beauty of my Max for Live device. Create guide clips from locators. Yes, and it's actually doing this with just one mouse click. So uh, you just want to add one locator at the end here because um, we need to define the outro length here as well. So if I now press on create guide clip, Bam, there you go. So now we have intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, so on and so forth, all saved as a guide clip, as a MIDI track. So this way we're able to copy the whole info here over to our whole master set. So let me quickly show you how this works. So um, creating the master set would mean you want to copy all the different songs, all the different Ableton Live sets. All the different tracks into one big or oh, not so big depends on how long your set's gonna be in one Ableton Live master um, project file so a way how I would do this would be I would save this in um, a folder location or I would add a folder um, to my places in my live browser here so for example I have different folders I could add. So for example, I have a folder just created here, tutorial example folder. So if I open this one, it shows up in here in my live browser. So let us save this song example in the same folder. So on my desktop, tutorial examples folder, and let's save this file in here. And now it's showing up here, okay? So this is one way, obviously, you can just grab this stuff via the finder as well and drag stuff in. But, I mean, this keeps things a little bit more, don't know, cleaner maybe. Especially if you explain this to people and showing this. Okay, so let's create a new Ableton Live set, um, which is supposed to be our um, master set. Okay, so we just need one track in here always. So let's go to arrangement. I have some locators in here. Let's delete those locators. You can just select the last one or use a max for live device of mine, delete all locators, which is available as well. So um, I now want to add this whole um, song here and I can just do this by drag and dropping this in here. Bam. And there you go. And now you can see you have all the different uh, clips in here you have the guide track so maybe let's put this on the top let's delete this one track which was there from opening the Ableton Live set so this is how you can do this actually if you now want to add locators again 
there is another device of mine if you need that if you want that so let me quickly search for that here is the device which can create locators from the midi guide track so uh create and delete locators it's called from clips so you can just drag and drop this onto the guide track here because you have those clip start points here and then you just hit the create locator button and it takes a little time like half a second which is um, much quicker than just doing this by hand add locator add locator add locator um, yes so now you have the locators being back now so if you use um, a MIDI controller to switch between locators here for example in rehearsal situation so you have this now here back again so let's do this with the next song add another song here I just take the same song because um, um, I just have this one here yes yeah? so we create we add this next song here and now you see oh it's all a bit messy you just move those um to the next um, place here and i have like let's say this is like my song two now and i have a different ordering of the clips here so maybe let's just move those guide clips into here and let's take the other one the other um, stamps the other audio clips I got in here let's get rid of the tracks we just added and now you have song one and song two added here all set you know so hey, do you want to have more locators so the create locator thing is a little bit um, funky here because if I just press create locators now you can see it will delete the first locators and then add the locators at the back so what you would need to do is you need to press delete locators first in the whole for the whole set and then create locators and then it will do it for the whole set it's just the way the Ableton Live API is working in the background I couldn't set it up different um, unfortunately so just so you know if you need to add stuff locators maybe do them all in once if you use this device or press delete first wait this is really important because it's calculating the different and it's looking for the different locators and then press create and the locators are being um, created on the track looking on the track for the different clips so if we have another clip in the back here you know it will create a locator at the start of every clip yeah so this is something um, the max for life devices are something if you have a similar workflow here this could save you a lot of time so please check them out they are all linked in the video description here um, take care and bye